Bless the Lord, my soul.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us mark in Holy Scripture the good news of God for our lives and for the world. A reading from the first epistle to the Corinthians. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are being destroyed, but it is the power of God for those of us who are being saved. It is written in Scripture, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will reject the intelligence of the intelligent. Where are the wise? Where are the legal experts? Where are today's debaters? Hasn't God made the wisdom of the world foolish? In God's wisdom, he determined that the world wouldn't come to know him through its wisdom. Instead, God was pleased to save those who believe through the foolishness of preaching. Jews ask for signs and Greeks look for wisdom but we preach Christ crucified, which is a scandal to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is God's power and God's wisdom. This is because the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Look at your situation when you are called, brothers and sisters. By ordinary human standards, not many were wise, not many were powerful, not many were from the upper class. But God chose what the world considers foolish to shame the wise. God chose what the world considers weak to shame the strong. And God chose what the world considered low class and low life, what is considered to be nothing, to reduce what is considered to be something to nothing. So no human being can brag in God's presence. It is because of God that you are in Christ Jesus. He became wisdom from God for us. This means that he made us righteous and holy and he delivered us. This is consistent with what was written. The ones who brags should brag in the Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people.
I've taken refuge in you, Lord. Don't let me ever be put to shame. Deliver me and rescue me by your righteousness. Bend your ear toward me and save me. Be my rock of refuge where I can always escape. You commanded that my life be saved because you are my rock and my fortress. My God, rescue me from the power of the wicked. Rescue me from the grip of the wrongdoer and the oppressor because you are my hope, Lord. You, Lord, are the one I've trusted since childhood. I've depended on you from birth. You cut the cord when I came from my mother's womb. My praise is always about you. I've become an example to many people because you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, glorifying you all day long. Don't cast me off in old age. Don't abandon me when my strength is used up. Yes, my enemies have been talking about me. Those who stalk me plot together. God has abandoned him. I invite you to rise for the reading of the gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Some Greeks were among those who had come up to worship at the festival. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and made a request. Sir, we want to see Jesus. Philip told Andrew, and Andrew told Philip, told Jesus. Jesus replied, The time has come for the human one to be glorified. 
I assure you that unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it can never be a single seed. It can only be a single seed. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their lives will lose them, and those who hate their lives in this world will keep them forever. Whoever serves me must follow me. Wherever I am, there my servant will also be. My Father will honor whoever serves me. Now I am deeply troubled. What should I say? Father, save me from this time. No, for this is the reason I have come to this time. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard and said, It's thunder. Others said, An angel spoke to him. Jesus replied, This voice wasn't for my benefit, but for yours. Now is the time for judgment of this world. Now this world's ruler will be thrown out. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to me. He said this to show how he was going to die. The crowd responded, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the human one must be lifted up? Who is this human one? Jesus replied. The light is with you for only a little while. Walk while you have the light so that the darkness doesn't overtake you. Those who walk in darkness don't know where they are going. As long as you have the light, believe in the light so that you might become people whose lives are determined by the light. After Jesus said these things, he went away and hid from them. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a few moments of silence. We heard from the Apostle Paul that the message of the cross is foolishness to some. In 1940, the young Roger Schutz, also known as Brother Roger, would have likely been thought of as foolish, 
by many in his desire to welcome the stranger and provide hope as a source of hope for those whose lives had been ravished by the war. As he watched humans spend so much energy in justifying things which bring them into conflict, all the while referring to God as the God of love, and this very much bothered him. So Brother Roger embraced the message that Christ is God's power and God's wisdom. It became clear to them that the faith is very simple. It's, um, it's so simple that everyone could receive it. He desired a place where understanding and reconciliation were possible. So by the power of the God, by the power of God, possibly that foolishness of God being wiser than the human wisdom, the Tizay community was born, or this particular community. It began with a simple thought of where two or three are gathered, there God is. So people from the war, um, folks from the village, folks from many cultures began to gather, and the community grew from there. They would divide into little small groups and by languages, and then there would be translators to come in. But even when there was no one to translate, the message through the simplicity of the service and of the music, did anybody was able to persist participate, and God could still speak and would, be, would speak through the experience of it. So today is an, more of an experience than a service, and it became a place of respite in the midst of a lot of chaos. In a world that had a lot of noise, this place offered the peace that passes all understanding, and it continues today. Prior to COVID, over 100,000 people of all ages made their way to um, Tizay each year, and I can only hope it's back. But there, the brothers live in the community. They share the rule of life. It's rooted in prayer, scripture, manual labor, and that's how they provide for themselves. The message of the cross is foolishness to many, but it is the power for those of us who embrace it. For some reason, God chooses to welcome us in our weakness, not in our own power. And may we experience God's presence in one another as we embrace the thought, the simplicity, and respond to God's call tonight in this very simple way of worship. Christ Jesus, sent by God to reveal his love to all human beings, we pray to you. Christ Jesus, until your last breath, you cared for others and you gave your life love. We pray to you. Lord, 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 Lord. 
Christ Jesus, everyone will recognize us as your friends when we love each other. We pray to you. Christ Jesus, our own destiny is rooted in communion with you. We pray to you. Christ Jesus, we pray for one another, for those in the military, for first responders, and for, for the church universal. Christ Jesus, in you, we become brothers and sisters for each other. Make us grow in peace and reconciliation. We pray to you. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Forgive those things we have done which have caused you sadness and those things we should have done that would have brought you joy. In both we have failed ourselves and you Bring us back to that place where our journey began when we said that we would follow the way that you first trod. Lead us to the cross and meet us there. God forgives you. Forgive others. Forgive yourself. Through Christ, God has put away your sin. Approach God in peace. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning in rest, we will be saved, and quietness and confidence will be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence 
where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for God's blessing for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Watch over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in the heart, may your peace, which passes understanding, abide all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen.